Life Uncontained is a popular YouTube channel run by an American couple that posts videos regularly about their off-grid dream home project. The couple's YouTube channel has grown to over 1.32 million subscribers since starting back in December of 2017 and has more than 200 million views. Mackenzie and Spencer are a couple from Florida in the United States, and they run a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing their experiences of building their shipping container dream home almost completely on their own, off the grid, with no construction experience at all. After more than four years of building their home totally on their own, the couple has almost reached the end of the entire project. In this video, we will be going over our opinion of the 10 best moments of Life Uncontained that regular subscribers love to see and can connect with. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number 1. The Life-Changing Road Trip The couple's decision to move from their decent home and stable jobs in Florida to the middle of the Texas woods and take up the responsibility of building their home on their own was influenced by a road trip they took in 2016, during which they stayed in various houses. They fell in love with the landscape and environment and began researching alternative style homes. The idea of changing the direction of their lives took off from there, but they did not act on it until later. Their lives went on as usual, till they began to notice that the real estate market in Florida was beginning to go high, and this presented them with an opportunity to make the decision to finally sell their house, quit their jobs in Florida, and move out to the Texan woods. Number 2. Relocating to Texas The couple finally moved to Texas in March of 2018. It came as a huge shock to them to have to go from being employed in restaurants, living in the city, and having a home to being unemployed, living in a barn in the middle of nowhere, and still having the daunting task of building their dream home with their only knowledge of construction coming from YouTube tutorials. But while others would feel too overwhelmed by this and change their minds, Spencer and Mackenzie encouraged each other and became all the more determined to achieve their goal and make the whole experience worthwhile. When they first moved into the woods, all they had on the land were some farm animals for company, the two 40 by 8 foot shipping containers they brought to live in, and a barn to live in that was in the barest possible condition. And while they really liked the land and the environment they were surrounded by, the barn, as it was, was inconvenient, and so the couple had to renovate it, making one side of it into a sealed solar closet, and the other side a decent living area for them and their dog. Number three installing solar panels in the barn. After a whole month of roughing it out in the wild, the couple was excited to finally be getting renewable energy to live on. They made use of an array of 12 solar panels and Tesla batteries for the setup of their solar inverter, but with no experience behind them, it was a lot of trial and error with the batteries, solar panels, and wiring before they could finally get their power up and running and working flawlessly. However, what the couple was most excited about? Getting the appliances running, getting the outlets running, making sure that they had power to charge their devices and to live in a much more comfortable fashion. Number four, breaking ground for their shipping container home. After being out in the woods for two months, Spencer and Mackenzie finally began the process of actually building their off-grid shipping container home. But before starting on the foundation, the couple needed to find the two septic tanks that were left in the ground by the previous owners. The septic tanks were a great find as they helped the couple save the money they would have otherwise used to buy tanks of their own. When they found the tanks, the couple then went on to dig holes for the foundation of their home. They dug eight holes per container, and those holes had eight footings that served to hold the post and beam foundations that would carry the weight of their shipping container home. After one entire month of digging and filling the foundation with more than a few setbacks to pull through, the couple finally finished off the foundation of their home taking them another step closer to finally achieving their dream. Number five, attaching the containers to the foundation. While the couple had to go through getting rid of rust on the containers, a mishap while moving the container onto the foundation beams, living among snakes and welding incidents, they finally were able to connect the shipping containers to their DIY foundation. If you've made it this far, please like and subscribe to BB Star for more content like this as we continue the video. Number six, they are repairing their roof. After months of building and learning, all of the hard work was beginning to pay off when the couple finished up the roof of their container home. They had cut out the frame for the doors and windows of the home, waterproofed the house, and the floor plan was completed at the time, such that what was originally just two containers and a huge piece of land was starting to come together, and their dream was beginning to look less daunting than before. All of this was a year after their big move, and so looking back at all the big projects they had successfully finished up, 
was super encouraging for Spencer and McKenzie. Number seven, putting the finishing touches on the exterior. 15 months of hard work and 100,000 subscribers later, Spencer and McKenzie of Life Uncontained finally finished up the exterior of the shipping container home. The two had installed the windows and doors to the house, gotten rid of a bat infestation, and dealt with even more rust. And what was left was to finally paint over the green exterior of the container, settling for the color outer space, a bluish gray color, the couple could finally say goodbye evergreen and hello outer space. Number eight, obtaining water and electricity in their home. In what they called the biggest milestone yet, the couple was finally able to run solar energy from the inverter in the barn and get running water from the rain into their home. The two first added three huge rainwater cisterns that would harvest rain for their home, then installed the plumbing that would connect the three cisterns together. And then they built a rainwater pump house with a pump, a pressure tank, and an entire filtration system that would ensure the house had safe, drinkable running water whenever it needed. Then the couple installed a solar water heater to ensure they got hot water in their home. And finally, they ran wires that would take solar energy to all the necessary outlets in their container home. All of this while making mistakes, learning from them, and overcoming all of the challenges that they faced. Number nine, welcoming a new member to the Life Uncontained staff. In January of 2020, the couple were blessed with a beautiful baby girl, Bo. The two were really happy about the new baby and proceeded to give the little one a full tour of their soon-to-be home. Despite this, construction work on the house did not stop, although all of the work was done by Spencer. Later on, in August of 2021, the two introduced their second baby, a beautiful baby boy they named Cam. The family obviously grew with the home, and all of the life uncontained family was so happy for Spencer and Mackenzie. Number 10. I'm moving in. In August of 2021, the family finally moved into their house. Kind of. Although they had not finished all of the construction planned for the interior of the house, they finally decided to move in and officially start sleeping in their house. This was partly due to their newest addition to the family, and partly because continuing to live in the barn was putting a strain on their solar power. Even though the home was not complete yet, the family was still very excited to be able to move into their home for the first time. While the family has not fully completed the construction of their dream home, it is all coming together beautifully. And so they are happy with the progress they have made so far and are looking forward to all of the other projects, planned and unplanned for, that will finally lead to the completion of their home. When that time may be, we don't know. But what we do know is that the community of Life Uncontained subscribers will continue to root for them and support them until they finally get to celebrate with their family when they achieve their dream.